And so when we found out last week, or not, I mean, maybe like a couple days ago, that Tulsi was coming to campaign for Don Bulldog in New Hampshire, we were like, oh, really? Really? And we made a plan. And we said, we are going to go, members of the LPNH, the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire, which is the party that is the home of the only anti-war Senate candidate in New Hampshire, and that is Jeremy Kaufman. We said, we are going to go to one of their events and ask some questions. And we had been talking about this for several days. Now, my involvement in this was that my plan, honestly, was to kind of be quiet. I wanted to go to the event to see what would happen, and I wanted to maybe take some video. I wasn't actually planning on getting involved. I will tell you how I got involved in a second, because it was just an accident of circumstance. That's all it was, and I will explain all that. But this has been planned for several days among members of the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire to show up to this event to ask some questions. We talked about it in a group chat for a couple days, and we met and planned for like an hour before the event. What are we going to ask? How are we going to do it? How are we going to make our point? And by the way, if anyone doubts me on this, there was a documentary film crew filming the whole thing. So there is video footage of every single thing that I'm saying. This was completely planned by a dozen people on film. I don't know what's going to happen with that footage, but it does exist. And the plan was that we were going to go to the event and politely ask questions. We were going to ask questions about, um, about, oh God, I have to get up my disguise. Oh no. Hang on. It's this resistance that's going to win. But while we're talking. So we were going to ask questions about a couple of things. We wanted to ask questions about why Tulsi is endorsing a war hawk. That was one of the things we were very interested in. We also wanted to ask questions about um, about uh, why Don Bulldog is not demanding that Jeremy Kaufman be included in the debates. Because the fact of the matter is, is that Tulsi was excluded from the debates when she ran for president. And that was wrong. And so and, and Don Bulldog has actually told us privately on multiple occasions that he will vocally support Libertarian Senate candidate Jeremy Kaufman being included in the senatorial debates. He said it to us. And now we have him on film saying it. We got him on film at this event saying it because we showed up to ask questions. That's a different story. So we wanted to ask about war. We also wanted to ask about why they had, why Don Bulldog had not publicly stated that he wants Jeremy Kaufman included in the debates. Jeremy Kaufman being the only anti-war Senate candidate. So those were the two things. And then there, there were there were strategies around who was going to ask what and maybe, you know, hurling some like Russian swears or something. There, we have, there, there, there was a Russian spear. OK. Um, and, and the plan was really whoever was able to get the mic was going to was going to try to, to ask one of those questions. But the plan was to do it totally politely. We were we the plan was never to disrupt the event. It was and we did not disrupt the event. We didn't. The plan was never to be disruptive. It was to ask our questions, film them with the answers, and let the words speak for themselves. Well, we all go over go over to the event. And we're some of the first people there. I think we were there like 45 minutes early or something. We all go over to the event, a dozen of us. We start to go in the room for the event. And there's no one there. And with our group is Jeremy Kaufman, who is one of the contenders for the for for the seat that Bald- Don Bulldog wants, right? So there were a bunch of us that went, and we are fairly positive. I don't I don't really think there's any way around this. They, let me just let me be brass tacks. Don Bulldog's campaign staff knew who we were. 
Now, this should really not be a surprise. We had been kind of hinting on Twitter that we were going to go. So, like, they they did actually. We had been uh, tagging Don Bulldog and Tulsi Gabbard in tweets for a couple of days. And so there there was kind of, like, advance notice that the Libertarians might be showing up and the Libertarians travel in packs. And um, so they knew who we were. They didn't even allow, they, they kicked Jeremy Kaufman out of the building. So they didn't even allow Jeremy to stay. Jeremy was not going to be disruptive. Der- Jeremy wasn't even going to ask a question. He was just going to stand there. So they kicked Jeremy out. They made Justin O'Donnell go to the media section because he had a camera, like a really nice camera. And instead of allowing him to film from his seat, they made him go to the media section and then forbid him from walking around and filming stuff. He had to stay in one distinct location. Justin O'Donnell is like very, he's like a well-known activist in in New Hampshire. They went up to read the the campaign guy, like the head campaign guy went up to um, Reed Coverdale and told Reed, we don't want any disruptions. And Reed said, We're not going to disrupt things. We just want to ask questions, which was the truth. And the campaign staffer told Reed, we will have a QA and a at the end. You can ask your questions then. And we thought, okay, great. So we started planning in our group chat. We started talking in the group chat. Like, you know, what are we going to ask? What are we going to say? We're chatting back and forth through the whole thing. So the event happens. It started about an hour late. And Tulsi comes on. And she gives her really generic stump speech for Don Bulldog. And and um and then Don Bulldog comes on and he gives his stump speech. Oh, by the way, I forgot. I forgot. I was wearing a disguise. Now, one of the libertarians that came with us to the event. He worked on Tulsi's campaign in 2020. And so he was nice enough to drive five hours to bring a whole mess of Tulsi Gabbard t-shirts. So several of us, me included, I put a t-shirt right over my hoodie. Several of us were in a disguise. (laughs) And it was funny because, because like I was wearing this shirt in and people were like, oh my God, that's a great shirt. That's a great shirt. I literally tweeted two hours before this that I was wearing a disguise. (laughs) This is one of those instances where you can flat out tell people that you're going to trigger them and they still don't listen. They don't. So many of us were wearing Tulsi Gabbard t-shirts to, to, to throw people off the scent. And I actually think that's why they didn't, they didn't like kick me out, to be honest. (laughs) So, so the event goes like fine. And then, so they both, so Don Bulldog finishes his speech and then Don Bulldog and Tulsi get up on the stage and hug. And then they say, okay, we're leaving. See ya. And we were all like, what? What you told us, you literally told us that if we were behaved, which we were, we would get a chance to ask our questions. And then they canceled the Q&A because they knew we were there and knew we were going to ask questions. Now, they're probably going to make an excuse by saying they're going to say, well, it was a time issue. Dude, if you're having a town hall, you take questions from voters. They took zero questions from voters. So Don Bulldog was on the stage and Tulsi had kind of gone into the backstage area. So a couple of people from the LPNH went and 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 went after Don Bulldog and got him on camera saying that he wants Jeremy Kaufman in the debate. Good. OK, what I did with a couple other people is I started exiting and we were looking for Tulsi. So I was exiting the the room where the event was with, you know, a couple other people there. And I see Tulsi Gabbard in the lobby. And I'm like, okay, there she is. And we started going, going towards her to ask the question. And the plan was to ask the question very nicely and very politely, but to get it on camera. Tulsi sees us coming out. She turns around and starts running out the back door. And so I just happened to be in a position and I was like looking around at the other people. I was like, is someone going to say something? Is someone going to say something? Is someone going to say something? 
And I just happened to be in the best position. This was not planned. I did not plan to do anything at this event. I just happened to be in the position to do it. I was like, well, my voice carries. And so as Tulsi was running out the back door after the event, after they had refused to take questions, I shouted, Tulsi, why are you coming to New Hampshire to campaign for a war hawk when you claimed to be anti-war two days ago? Why are you campaigning for a war hawk, Tulsi? And Tulsi kept running out of the building. But what did happen is because we were in the lobby with Don Bulldog's Republican supporters is they all turned around and started staring at me. And they were like, you're an infiltrator. <laughs> so Don Bulldog's supporters, Republicans, started yelling at me. Say, Don Bulldog does not support war. He does not support it. He does not support it. Well, we just saw in the clip from Fox News that he, in fact, does. So they all started yelling at me. And of course they saw my Tulsi shirt and they were like, you're a plant. You're a plant. You are here under false pretenses. Don Bulldog does not support war. And I was like, he really does. And this is what he said on Fox News. And I literally started reading them the transcript off of Fox News that was handed to me by one of the LPNH members because we had planned to read the effing transcript. And these Republicans were crazy like like unhinged they were like democrats it was really that they were like democrats and as it turns out well someone got video of a part of the incident let me show you now this is not there is there is other footage of this there is other footage of this this is just the very first one that got released okay so I don't know why Caroline did this. I actually like Caroline. Caroline is, is she's a reporter for the New York Sun. Um, she's done a couple stories on the Free State Project. Um, she comes to some of our events. Like, she's she's a good egg. I don't mind her. I don't know why she said that I got in a shouting match, though, because I was being shouted at by three effing Republicans. So let's watch, let's watch this video of the shouting match. He wanted to go all in on Ukraine. Don Bulldog is really all of us. It's really no, not a Tulsi Gabbard support. No, it's not. That was Tulsi Gabbard support. No, it's not. Oh, so you're telling me they changed his position right oh, after he had a You're a player. Player. You're not a Tulsi Gabbard You're not a Tulsi Gabbard Yeah, she's a she's a player. I absolutely You're a player. Because you're a player. 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 The only the you get, if you get stuck with Maggie, it's your fault. If you get stuck with Maggie, it's your fault. I can't take the issue. That you want to go all in on Ukraine. So, I had Real Nick Miles, Unwoke Infiltrator. Thank you, Real Nick Miles. So, so... I had asked Tulsi a very fair question, I think, about why she's supporting someone who wants to go all in on Ukraine. I started getting screamed at by Republicans who said, you're an infiltrator, you're a plant, you're here under false pretenses. Dude, dude, I had literally, I had literally, but two hours before, tweeted that I was coming in a disguise. I told you guys what I was doing. <laughs> this should have been no secret to anyone. <laughs> but the thing of it is, is like what I'm really offended by is a vote for the only anti-war Senate candidate in the race, Jeremy Kaufman, is a vote for a Democrat. No, Republicans. No. And that's really what I wanted to talk about tonight. Because that was literally the only argument that the Republicans had. The Republicans who were so upset at me for asking Tulsi Gabbard why she endorsed a war hawk. The only argument they had is if you vote for the anti-war candidate, then Maggie Hassan will win. Well, guess what, Republicans? Not good enough. Not good enough. 